Jess, I'm Wade. And I'm Cullen. Student Council is hosting Lebanon High's annual canned food drive. Our drive will run from December 2nd to, si to the 6th, and the goal is 30,000 cans. Yeah, you heard it, 30,000. These cans will go to the Community Help Center and feed families in Wilson County. Each second block class will bring items to compete with other classes for prizes. This year, the school, if we meet our goal, participating second block classes will receive a pass to leave either three or five minutes early from the last day of school before Christmas break. Please note that glass containers, bottles, and ramen noodles are not accepted by the shelter. Also, please check the expiration dates on your donations. Yearbooks are on sale for $75. Remember, the price increases as the year progresses, so do not delay. Japanese Club will meet today at 3 p.m. in the cafeteria. Seniors, remember that you need to submit your name for the yearbook by tomorrow. For the past few years, cadets in our JFTC program have sent Christmas cards to military personnel stationed overseas and stateside, as well as to patients at our local veteran hospitals. Our seniors actually hand carry cards to the VA hospital in Murfreesboro and hand them out to patients there. We produced over 2,500 cards last year and intend to increase our level of outreach for this season. If you know someone who would like to receive Christmas mail, please send Sergeant Lindsay the names, ranks, duty stations, and mailing addresses by Friday, December 20th. They would be honored to send the cards to all of them. Congratulations to our Lebanon Devilettes 2020 guard, Erin Grace Lester, on her commitment to play basketball at Martin Methodist. Coach Barrett says her work ethic and servant leadership has set her apart from most others. BDN will have more next week when Erin Grace officially signs her scholarship. Blue Devil News is having great success with our new broadcasting crew live, stream, live streaming all home basketball games with Billy Joe Sebaski behind the scenes, Glenn Smith on sound and Jumbotron, and junior commentators Raymond Ennis and Ian Shrek. We can't go wrong. Tuesday's games reached over 2,300 people and have close to 1,000 views. BDN live broadcasts all home basketball games from our Facebook page. If you miss a live broadcast, no worries. You can always go back and view the games on our page. Each game will also be re-aired on Wilson County's government education channel, WCTV, the following day. Tuesday games will air on Wednesday at 6 p.m., and the Friday games will air Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Find, like, and share BDN's Facebook at LHS Blue Devil News and on Instagram at LHS Blue underscore Blue Devil News. If you're interested in joining our sports broadcasting team, come see Miss Nick and B322. The Book Club publishes a lot literary magazine every year, once a year. This magazine is filled with artwork, poetry, short stories, and scripts written by our students. We are accepting submissions now. Students can submit their work to Lebanon High Book Club at gmail.com. The LHS Band and Choir Christmas Concert is this weekend, December 7th at 7 p.m., and the cost is free. Also, make sure to make space on your calendar for our annual LHS Dance Showcase, A Night at the Movies. It'll be December 10th from 6 to 8, featuring Dance 1, 2, and 3 classes. You can buy tickets online at the LHS website or at the door for $5. All events will take place in the theater. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, LHS. I'm Wade. And I'm Cullen. And this has been News to You from the White and Blue.